वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ग्राफ थियरी टर्मिनोलॉजीज सो इन दोज टर्मिनोलॉजीज आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज ब्रांच वॉट इज नोड वॉट इज डिग्री ऑफ नोड देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ नोड्स लाइक टर्मिनल नोड आइसोलेटेड नोड इन ग्राफ यू विल बी ऑब्जर्विंग दर इज ट्री दर इज को ट्री दर इज ट्विंग दर इज लिंक्स so all those terminologies that i'll be going to discuss over here in this video so let us start with branch first so whenever we talk about branch it explains you connection in between two nodes as well as it explains you how many objects are present in the circuit so branch is a line that connects two nodes and it also gives number of elements present in network so for example if you have resistor and you want to represent that by branch then in graph theory simply this two are nodes let us say this is node 1 this is node 2 and by branch we simply connect it so if i say this is branch a then here you can say branch a connects node 1 and node 2 so it gives numbers of elements which is there in the network so in graph theory you will be observing we represent resistor inductor capacitor as elements in interconnection of graph i'll show you how to do that when we see how to plot graph based on electrical circuit now let me explain you second definition that is node so node is an end point of line segment so you see here line segment is branch so end point that is represented by nodes so you can say this is node 1 and this is node 2 so it is end point of line segment and it exists at junction between two branch so you will be observing in circuits if i say i'm having one resistor connected in series with capacitor so here resistance is r capacitance is c so whenever you want to have nodes then you see here resistor and capacitor is connected over here so this is end point let us say this is node 1 this is joint in between r and c so this is my node 2 and this is my node 3 so when you represent that in graph you will be observing this is how branches are connected in which node 1 node 2 and node 3 is represented and here resistance let us say that is represented by branch a and this capacitor that is represented by branch b so here you see node is end point of line segment so 1 and 3 these are end point of line segment and it exists at the junction between two branches so here one branch and two branch is having junction where node 2 is there there can be multiple branch connected at node you can say that is multi branch junction so to understand that let us try to understand what is degree of node so degree of node means it is number of branches connected to given node so for example here with this graph if i want to ask you what is the degree of node with node 2 then you see here branch a and branch b is connected with node 2 means degree of this node 2 that is 2 when you want to uh, understand what is the degree of node which is there with node 3 then you see here only one branch is connected with node 3 then you can say degree of node 3 is 1 so likewise when you have complex graph in that you just need to see how many branches are connected with given node that explains you degree of node now when you talk about degree of node that defines two more small definitions of different sets of node one is terminal node and second is isolated node so when we talk about terminal node so in that you will be having degree of node which is equals to 1 and when we talk about isolated node in that degree of node is 0 let me write that first after that i'll explain you so terminal node has one degree of node so you can see here node 1 and node 3 that is having one branch connected you see node 1 is connected with this branch only so you can say degree of node 1 that is 1 so this node 1 that is terminal node that you can say 
here you can see this node 3 that is having one branch connection that is branch B. So you can say this node 3 that is also terminal node. But when we talk about isolated node, so in isolated node it has 0 degree means no branch is connected with the node that will be isolated node. Now my dear students, I will be going to explain you tree of graph. So let us see the definition first. See it is an interconnected open set of branches. Open set of branches means what? There will be no closed loop. So it is interconnection of branches without closed loop which includes all the nodes of graph. So you should take care of these two words interconnection of open set of branches and it should include all the node. So whatever graph that is given for that we need to consider all the nodes and it should be open set of branches means there should not be any closed loop. So when you draw tree at that time it should have no closed loop right it should have zero closed loop and it should cover all the nodes of graph and there can be question like how many branches are there in the tree then if you have n number of nodes in the graph then you can identify number of branches in the tree that is n minus 1. So here you see number of branches in the tree that is n minus 1 where n is number of nodes in given graph. So you can identify how many branches are there in the tree. Now if you have been given with graph then how many possible trees are there for that also there is one formula. Let me explain you that formula. So there are two formulas that you should remember. One is for complete graph you will be having total number of trees that is n to the power n minus 2. This is applicable for complete graph. My dear students when you have been given with complete graph at that time total number of trees in the graph that is n to the power n minus 2. Now there can be question like what is the meaning of complete graph. So my dear students whenever any graph is given in that if all the nodes are connected with each other then you can say this graph is complete graph. Let me show you by graphics over here. You can observe here four nodes are there. You can see and in four nodes all the nodes are connected with each other. So what it means that graph is complete graph. So whenever you have complete graph in that case total number of trees possible will be n to the power n minus 2 where n is number of nodes. You can observe in the graph which I have shown you over here in that four nodes are there. So how many possible trees will be there? That will be 4 to the power 4 minus 2 means 4 to the power 2 means it will be 16. And you should know for trees it should cover all the nodes without loop. Remember this it should cover all the nodes without loops. So you can see in here by graphics I am showing you for four node complete graph how many trees are there 16 trees are there right and when we talk about trees calculation at that time two points that is very essential you should know that it should cover all the nodes and there should not be any loop. So this is the basic formula n to the power n minus 2 that is number of trees which is present in complete graph. It is sir can I ask you one question? Yes John definitely you can ask question. You have explained total number of trees for complete graph but what about if graph is not complete graph? Yes John I am going to explain you how many possible trees are there for any graph. This is what simple formula that's why I have explained you this right now. Now I am going to explain you number of trees possible for any graph. So my dear students now let me explain you how to identify total number of trees 
for any graph. So when you want to calculate total number of trees for any graph, then you should find determinant of AR multiplied with AR transpose. Now my dear students, how to identify AR that we will be going to study in next coming videos. So right now I am not going to explain you the details of what is AR, how to calculate AR, right. Right now just remember this, determinant of AR into AR transpose that will be total number of trees and this is applicable to any graph. But when you have complete graph, then directly by having n to the power n minus 2, we can identify total number of trees in the graph. Now, my dear students, I'll be going to explain you co-tree. So, my dear students, co-tree is complementary set of branches of tree. Means whenever you plot any tree of graph, then by removing branches of tree, whatever graph is there, that will be co-tree of graph. So, it is a graph which is formed after disconnecting tree. So, this is the basic definition of co-tree which is complementary set of branches of tree. Now, my dear students, I will be going to explain you twig. So, twig that is any branch of tree. So, whenever you plot tree in that whatever branches are there, those branches can be twig, right. So, twig is any branch of tree. Now, my dear students, I will be going to explain you link. So, link is a branches of co-tree. So, co-tree is what? A complementary set of branches of tree. So, whatever branches which is there with co-tree, that is link, right? So, it is that branches of graph which does not belongs to tree. So, these are the basic terminologies which you should know to understand graph theory in electrical and electronics. In next video, I will be going to explain you how we can draw graph from electrical circuits and these are the definition which are very essential in competitive examination also. In future, I will make some videos based on examples. So, that will give you clear resolution regarding all these terminologies. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.